This is Ken Reckles and he is a sustainable energy consultant. That basically means he charges me for common sense. What you want from insulation is comfort yep. and you want to keep the heat in, as you said, and that's heat loss is what we talk about. And then the final thing is safety. So let's, yes. let's talk about what most people have. If your house was built, oh, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, then your house was insulated with this stuff. You've seen it all, it's cotton candy. No, it's fiberglass. The fiberglass, you can actually see in here that the fiberglass does not go all the way to the edge. Fiberglass insulation in a perfectly sealed place is actually pretty good insulation if it actually fills in all of the cracks and crevices. So even if it's not a plumber moving it, just installing it is a problem by itself. It can't get into every single corner of the wall cavity here. The other problem with fiberglass is that it's actually an open bat material and walls are not sealed up. We think of them as sealed with our, our siding and the drywall, but in fact, vapor comes through those materials and when it does, it defeats the, um, the material itself so there can actually be airflow in fiberglass. So let's talk about what we did here. So a couple of fundamental concepts. One is this, this concern about no, something known as thermal bridging. And we would like our wall to be entirely warm all the way through the winter. But what really happens in a normal wall is that we get cold spots. And the reason we get cold spots, even if we had foam in a normal wall, we would still have cold spots where these studs, these pieces of wood that go all the way to the outside of the house occur in a normal house. Not in this house, but in a normal house. And if you actually took an infrared picture, that's a picture that shows the temperature of the wall itself, then you could see, just like you see right here, you can see here's the insulation, here are these strips of wood. You would see that in the infrared picture. This would be nice and warm, and these would be cool, particularly if it was a really cold night outside. So what we want to do is break that thermal bridge, this thermal bridge that comes from the outside to the inside. We need to break that up. And the way we do that is we have a continuous layer of foam around the entire outside of the house except where the windows are. So this goes over just like this drywall. No, I paid him for that idea. Don't, goes don't over foam over the windows. windows. And uh, yeah, didn't they foam over the windows <laughs> downstairs? I mean, just like the drywall goes over the entire inside of the house, this is on the entire outside of the house. And this breaks that thermal bridge so that our studs are warm inside the house. And that makes the entire wall feel warmer than you would in a normal house. That's not just comfort, that's also energy loss.